I'm Steve Benjamin, uh, Mayor of Columbia. Uh, we um, had our first meeting of the uh, Midlands Coronavirus uh, Task Force. It's, uh, it's a task force, and obviously, um, given the nature of, of what we're all dealing with, this is our first meeting, uh, but we expect there will be a number of other different ways to meet and communicate. Next meeting may be physical, it may be indoor, it may be outdoor, it may be online. It may be teleconference, uh, but it's important for the, for the men and women and, and children that we represent to know that your elected leaders, your appointed leaders are effectively communicating as we deal with this, gro this growing um, uh, uh, challenge, public health challenge. Uh, today, uh, we had a number of different agencies represented and the list is, is, is a bit more robust, but they included uh, Richland County, the City of Columbia, the uh, City of Casey, Fort Jackson, the city of Lexington, Lexington County, the city of West Columbia, the uh, city of Springdale, the city of Forest Acres, Richland 1, Richland 2, Lexington, Richland uh, School District 5, Benedict College, University of South Carolina, uh, the Columbia Chamber of Commerce, uh, Prisma Health, United Way, DHEC, um, of course, Transitions, and, 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 and several others, a number of other, uh, of course, all of our law enforcement leaders, representatives from the Sheriff's Department, uh, from the uh, police department uh, from our, our Richland Columbia Fire Department. Um, please, oh, come on, Richard. it's important. We see we see our people in uniform. It makes us a lot feel a lot safer, uh, <laughs> regardless of regardless of the challenge that we're that we're facing. Um, uh, obviously, uh, it, it's important to recognize that uh, we are all learning so much as as we move forward in, in dealing uh, with coronavirus. Uh, so the more that we're able to operate outside of our silos. Uh, that we're able to share best practices and, and, and make sure that every institution knows what the others are doing, that we're, that we're able to uh, rely on trusted sources, uh, that if you need good information, go to one of our respected news agencies for information. Go to the City of Columbia or Richland County or our law enforcement, our, 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 our healthcare uh, institutions for good information. Uh, do not rely on on social media alone, because uh, obviously one of the major challenges we have is, is just making sure people have good and solid information. Our focus is going to be, as we go forward, on making sure that our frontline, our first responders, uh, our, the men and women who work to serve you each and every single day, have the tools that they need uh, to make sure that we're safe, that we have uh, systems in place to make sure that, that, that our, our public institutions are, are able to continue working. Um, uh, effectively, we're going to make sure that our healthcare workers uh, obviously have the tools that they need uh, to move forward. Uh, we're happy to have the Chamber of Commerce and other business business institutions here with us today, recognizing that still that, that all businesses, but certainly small business, uh, uh, is, is still the economic uh, workhorse of, of America. And we have to make sure that we have some some tools in place uh, as we see si some significant disruption in business globally. Uh, that we make sure our businesses here across the Midlands. Are, are fortified. Uh, we, we live in a very different world right now as well with, with a number of gig workers, people who, 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 who work uh, from job to job, who work um, in, in technology, making sure again that we have systems in place. So we are working closely uh, with our state leaders, working closely with the regionally, and also um, through uh, our respective organizations, working cl very closely with the federal government as well as we seek uh, assistance uh, as we go forward. So. There's a lot of work to do. Um, all of your leaders, uh, regardless of, of uh, region, uh, regardless of, of where we are and, and who we are, uh, irrespective of party or our respective roles, we're working together uh, and communicating to make sure that the people of the Midlands uh, have their needs met. I'm going to step aside and we're going to have a very brief um, um, comments from uh, our, our, our chairman of the Richmond County Council, my friend Paul Livingston. Uh, then uh, the uh, city manager of the city of Columbia, Teresa Wilson. We're going to have Dr. John Saunders uh, give us a brief medical update, and then any of our other community stakeholders uh, who are still here with us post our, our, our meeting um, are free also to communicate. We'll have some Q&A, and we should wrap up pretty, uh, pretty quickly. So thank you. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mayor, I heard you say it very briefly. I got that. And I also, and I also will have uh, Dr. Witherspoon uh, representing our educational institutions and in, uh, school districts speak to. Let me first thank the mayor for his vision to, to, to bring us together in the Midlands. Okay. Mayor, I believe that's significantly important. For an opportunity for us to just simply share our resources, talk about what resources are available, an opportunity for us to learn from each other, new ideas from each other. Um, we all know 
Preparation is the key. And what this meeting is about is preparation for our Midlands region, and I'm excited about that. An opportunity to collaborate, partnership, work with each other, coordinate resources, and things of that particular nature. Uh, you know, I want to thank uh, my county administrator here, as well as county staff, um, for the preparation that we've gone through uh, for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I actually had a little meeting on yesterday. So we want our citizens of Richland County to believe that we understand and know that preparation is the key, and that's what we're doing. We're truly preparing. So again, Mr. Mayor, I want to thank you, and, and I know that we're all going to be better off because of collaborative efforts like this one. Thank you, thank you so much. I'd like to ask Leonardo to stand with me. Um, I'm Teresa Wilson, city manager, and of course this is Leonardo Brown, our county administrator. We were also joined earlier by our Lexington County administrator, Joe Murgo, and uh, city manager, Tracy Hagler from Casey. I think both of us um, and all of us in the room acknowledge as practitioners of uh, local government and recognizing that we truly are in the business of public service. We have a fundamental uh, responsibility to our employees first who are going to be helping our citizens and customers in the Midlands. And so we've already all are in lockstep with establishing um, strategies of education, uh, communication, prevention, and preparedness. We are all doing a lot of the same things already and learn from each other today about some additional things that we want to be proactive in doing. But of course, that is pushing the message and we thank all of you for being here today to um, put out the accurate information as Mayor Benjamin and Chairman Livingston said through all social media outlets, websites, YouTube channels and government access channels. We will be pushing information regularly. Communications have been sent to all of our employees through email, detailing steps for personal protection and steps to take should employees feel ill. And so that is including us gathering supplies like hand sanitizer, putting up stations for hand sanitizers, uh, making sure that our individuals who work outside of the office, which is the majority of our employees who are working daily with citizens, are protected to include our first responders. Um, we've already engaged with um, both of the directors, uh, Director Byrd for Richland County, um, Director Tinsley with the City of Columbia, and Jacqueline Richburg, who's director over 911. The protocols have already been established for first responders as far as when they respond to calls, the call management system is already in place if people or citizens are exhibiting signs of the coronavirus symptoms. We will ask um, additionally for um, continued planning and contingencies to be put in place for our staffing to ensure that we have a continued uh, business processes and make sure that the work of government continues. Um, well, albeit it may be that we have to do things differently as the situation continues to um, present itself, but we are making preparations for employees to be able to work from home if that becomes necessary, as well as essential staffing, um, making a, uh, different it, protocols for them, as well as non-essential staff members to cross train. So a lot of things are in place. It's a fluid situation. And we just want to assure the public that from a government, local government perspective, we are prepared and ready. Thank you. Amen. Again, I want to thank uh, Mayor Benjamin uh, for coordinating this, this meeting and, and having us all come together and share information. As always, whenever there's uh, something that arises, we do all work together because uh, whether we're talking about Richland 1, Richland 2, Richland Lex 5, uh, we share families and, and, and workplaces and lines, so it's important that we all work together. With regard to the various school systems, we have put out information internally and externally to our parents to our staffs, and uh, we generally, this time of year, we have flu protocols that we follow. And that uh, speaks to the, the wiping down of surfaces, uh, covering your mouth, all of those, those things that we know to do during flu season. But certainly at this time, uh, taking extra precautions, and as has been said, that preparedness, uh, making sure that uh, there may be isolation rooms that are needed. Uh, in, in addition to our regular health rooms that we have. Uh, preparing for any e-learning uh, in the event that a school or a district has to be uh, closed that we have, we, the uh, education uh, can continue differently, whether that's with computers, whether that's with packets, 
and so forth. So we're, we're having those things in place. We're also monitoring uh, field trips and so forth, whether that information comes from the CDC or, or DHEC in terms of travel for students, field trips for, or staff with professional development. We're keeping an eye on those things uh, as well. And also working with our international teachers that we have that come from various countries and uh, perhaps some of those uh, trips that may have occurred during spring break and the like uh, may not happen. Uh, but again, we're keeping all of our uh, folks involved and, and uh, informed as we go through and continuing to make sure that in the event, just like what happened in 15 with the flood, our business services continue to operate and continue to have those, those systems and processes in place. So we will continue to work uh, uh, certainly with, with the individuals and entities that are represented here uh, to make sure that we're doing our part as, as the education systems in, in this area and, and what we can to work together and support our families, our students as we go forward. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Woods. We'd like to thank Mayor Benjamin for allowing us to participate in this task force today. The one thing that I would like to point out is at this point in time, there are no confirmed cases of coronavirus in the state of South Carolina. In terms of things that we're looking for, for symptoms to be on the watch for, we're looking for fever, we're looking for cough, and we're looking for difficulty breathing. In terms of what we can do to take care of ourselves and try to prevent the spread of this, uh, hygiene in terms of making sure that we're covering our coughs, to make sure that if we sneeze into a Kleenex, we throw that away, to make sure that we're engaging in good hand washing technique in terms of making sure you wash your hands in warm soapy water for at least 20 seconds, and then, uh, if you're going to use the hand sanitizer, make sure that it's at least 60% alcohol. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Doctor. That's great. Um, any, any other reports? If you started walking towards the podium, I was going to give it to you. The, uh, uh, and we're going to uh, obviously be opened up to, for questions. I will say usually uh, so many of you are, are in this very space with us, uh, with us when we're having a storm of some sort, some sort of uh, some type of inclement weather event or, or a flood. And I have learned over the years, as many of you have, uh, that, that these women and, and men are the very best there is in, uh, in the public or private sector anywhere in, 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 in handling these situations. New, new storms will arise, and uh, it, it is time uh, for the very best and brightest to step up. And we'll learn, we'll learn some things, and, and, and we'll be even better prepared when the next uh, challenge comes. Uh, again, my, uh, 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 reiterating what Ms. Wilson had to say, I want, I want to thank the media for being here. Uh, we, we, we appreciate uh, each and every one of you as a trusted source in helping make sure that the people that we, that we not only represent but we know that we love um, uh, get good information from trusted sources. Encourage people, rely on trusted sources, not only on what we read on social media to get your information. It's so important. Uh, obviously that means the, the, the major stations represented here. Uh, you can always rely on Channel 2, and certainly uh, the, the official entities uh, that stand before you here today go there for good information, not only uh, to uh, social media. So I'm um, going to wrap it up there unless someone says something to contribute. I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank all of you, and I'm happy to take any questions that you might have. Mayor Benjamin, Mike, in terms of concerns, I know a lot of people are concerned about this virus. Like, you know, like with Governor McMaster telling people to take it easy, like, what do you tell people? Well, uh, well, I'm not sure if the answer is, is, is take it easy, uh, but, but, but I think the, the um, uh, I'm sure the governor's uh, uh, admonition is, is everyone, just, just do the things that we know we're supposed to do. Uh, as Dr. Saunders laid out, listen to your medical professionals, listen to your public health uh, leaders. There are, all, there, are, there are a number of very simple things that we can all do to make sure that not only, not only we stay healthy, but that those around us that we know and love uh, stay healthy. Very simple things. Let's do that. But this, but this is a, a, a reason uh, for great concern. We're talking about um, a, a serious virus. We're talking about uh, potential epidemic and, and pandemic levels. So we, so we have to treat it with the gravity uh, that, it re that it requires. But also, uh, I think with, with, with the ease and, and calm uh, that allows us to communicate. Uh, and, and obviously, w w the question is not um, uh, if uh, the coronavirus will, will, will be here in the Midlands, it will be here. 
Uh, the question is when it will be here and whether or not we're, we're organized as a community to properly respond to it, to properly meet the needs of our citizens who may be uh, affected by it. That's our job, uh, and, and to make sure we're communicating very well. Uh, so th that's what we're going to do, uh, and, and, uh, and we look forward to working very closely with the, with the governor, with our, with our federal officials, and certainly with all of our local officials in making it happen. Yes, sir. Um, a couple of questions, I guess I'll just go ahead and answer one. The and you only get two, so. Fair enough. All right. St. Patrick's Day parade is in two weeks. That's mm. a lot of public events coming up now. Um, yeah. You're not putting out any advisories right now, restricting, changing the hours, or the planning, is that's still on as planned right now? <clears throat> sure. Well, we don't plan the St. Patrick's Day event, but but certainly we, we help facilitate that happening, work with, very closely with the Five Points uh, Merchants Association. Uh, we, ha we did have some robust discussion. Some of you were able uh, to uh, participate in that downstairs, and which is a very specific question. Two, a few came up about uh, out-of-state travel, and the other was about large assemblies and how we should handle those going forward. That is a very large assembly uh, of, of folks. Um, and I think we're probably going to have to kind of just see how things proceed in working with the proper stakeholders uh, to see you know, if, 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 if things have um, um, turned into something rather significant. Maybe it's something that we all need to strongly urge uh, a, a different path, but right now, no, we don't see any uh, any changes in plans. And, Second, so, and, and how are you in close contact with public college officials? You know, USC, Allen, Benedict. I mean, I'm sure, just, sure, know. too, sure, absolutely. So, um, both uh, uh, the University of South Carolina and Benedict College were, were, were both present at the meeting today. Midlands Technical College as as, as well. Uh, so, yes, we'll be uh, certainly communicating there. Obviously, unique situations that uh, we have with, with young people. Uh, particularly young people who are far away from home who may not have uh, their, their parents present accounted for. So we got some really good advice and counsel from our, our institutions of higher learning early today, and, and, and we're going to uh, continue uh, staying engaged uh, with them. Mayor, do you have a, uh, like a five-step plan? I mean, do you have something that kind of shows the guideline uh, of what will happen in, in the case of the coronavirus here in Columbia? Well, right now, sure. Do you want to follow sure. in line with what the rest of the nation is doing? Sure. Well, um, obviously, our, our goal, just with any, any type of situ situations, to have some type of a critical incident response protocol. Those are all segmented out between the various different institutions that, that, are, that are happening here. Obviously, the, um, um, some of the dialogue downstairs was um, how will we react on post if, if this happens? How do we work with our, our uh, certainly, we got an update from DHEC um, as the, the only place now in the state where you can actually uh, get tested. We got an update from, from, from Prisma. Each of our various institutions, we have either plans already developed or, or, or plans that, that, that are developed. And the goal is just realizing how we can work across our jurisdictional lines to make sure that, that if something is, is working really well on post, that we don't have to reinvent the wheel in, in, the, in the state of Columbia, that they know exactly what we're doing, they know exactly what, 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 what they're doing. If something is, is going well at Richland County, Lexington County has the benefit of that. So it's just constant, constant communication, constant communication. Ms. Wilson, you spoke about having hand sanitizer stations for employees in the city. Are there any plans in place to have those stations uh, for people just walking around downtown? That's a great point. Um, I, I think we started obviously with uh, city personnel that are particularly um, engaged with the public on a daily basis for their protection because they're not able to, you know, wash their hands regularly because they're working in our communities, literally, whether that's public work staff, police, fire, uh, water and sewer uh, staff. And that's very important to us to have um, continued to push that message for them for their own personal health and hygiene, but because they are the essential employees that will continue to keep this community running in the event that things um, become worse as far as the coronavirus. Um, what, I, what I think we will probably do is then continue the audit throughout, you know, city center and maybe the hospitality districts and work with those different hospitality district representatives to see if, if any additional stations are needed um, for public use, and, and we can certainly do that. Thank you for what you do. Uh, we know that obviously this is uh, probably the major, if not um, one of the major issues of public concern right now. Please continue doing the great work you do in sharing uh, the good word. Make sure it's, uh, it's something we can all, um, we, we can find edifying uh, after we uh, read what's on your um, post and, and, and see what's on, on the news. And let's stay in, um, constantly um, kind of keep holding each other to account. So thank you all, God bless you.
Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again and remember, we are Columbia.